There's a monster second row by one-eyed monster called Johan de Bryn. Um, did you ever have any run-ins with him in the against for the Lions against the Orange Free State? I did, yes, because it was a very, very tough, brutal game, and uh, we were losing it actually. And Willie John told me to liven things up a bit, and I hit de Bruin. Now. I don't know whether it's the same story as Gordon Brown's when the eye flew out and had to be stuck in with Vaseline and a big bit of grass was taken out of it, but we won that match very narrowly. And uh, after the third test, De Bruyne was picked to play for his first cap was against the Lions, Port Elizabeth, in the third test, which also was a brutal game, but our plane had a lucky escape. We hit a flock of seagulls on takeoff. And Bobby Windsor reckoned it was a South African plan. They couldn't beat us on the pitch and they threw a big ostrich into the jet. But our plane came down again and we were sitting waiting in the airport to see what would go on, what the arrangements were, when De Bruin came over to me and I wasn't a test player and asked for my autograph. Why? Because, it, well, what he said was, I said, why are you asking for my autograph? He said, nobody has ever hit me so hard in a rugby pitch as you did against the Free State. And Ian McLaughlin said, why did he ask for you? I said, I told him, Ian McLaughlin. He said, God, they're a funny race, these Afrikaners. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs>